what's going on youtube welcome back to the beginner track in hack the box today we're doing jerry jerry is an easy machine that's part of the beginner track i'm going to go over the machine guys uh, explain any relevant foundations and principles on the way and at the end we will grab the flag so we can submit it and gain progress so before everything guys we submit we turn on the machine make sure the IP address is populated and we start hacking so if you go here this is the result of the in-map scan as you can see we have only one open port 8080 and got Apache Tomcat running Coyote JSP Engine 1.1 and the indication that this is a Windows Microsoft Windows Server 2012 uh, operating system so how do we start from here since we have only an open port guys we're gonna going to start off with enumerating and discovering what's going on on this port so we launch Firefox okay and then we go to the machine IP grab it proxy server is refusing connections which means I have the settings of the purpose suite. I'm gonna turn it off I'm going to settings and going to settings here so no proxy and we submit the request again okay so this is the page okay now all of you know guys from previous videos that Tomcat uh, can be hacked by getting access to the manager application so if you go to manager app we will be asked to we are asked to provide username and password now some there are some default credentials that you could try in any unidentified scenario for example you can try with Tomcat username tom cat as password but unfortunately it's not going to work here so there are a couple default credentials that you can find on the internet try them here but they're not going to work that's one method uh, if this method doesn't succeed you're going to uh, try something else so, but if you click on cancel we are presented with an unauthorized page which is normal but the information disclosed under this page is something that isn't normal as you can see we have this closed pair of credentials username equal tomcat and password equal secret s3 crit so this tells me that it's not going to hurt if we try this password so we copy the password and we're gonna log in with tomcat as the username manager app and now we get access to the tomcat web application manager from here we have a couple paths to go so the first one is to upload a DWAR payload okay so basically we're going to use MSF Venom to create a Java payload so normally as you can see Tomcat server and Apache use WAR files or WAR files so if you upload a WAR file and instead of this WAR file to be an extension or a plugin to extend the functionality we're going to upload a virtual under this extension this will uh, enable us to get access to the underlying server so let's go ahead and create the payload so I'm going to my notes grab this and this is how I create my payload so scrolling all the way down making sure I type sudo paste so let's keep the name of the payload as is as you can see the extension is WAR and here I'm going to start the port so the port will be 4545 the port on which my machine will listen for incoming connections if config i'm going to grab my ip address and specify the payload as java slash shell underscore reverse underscore tcp as we create the payload let's enter and create the first payload Hopefully the first and last one under the scenario. Go. 
Okay. So after this finishes, we're going to the section WAR file to deploy, browse, and deploy. And we will start our listener from here, NC LVP 4555. And then we have the payload ready here. So we're going to browser, navigate to the file. As you can see, it's shell. So deploy. And now we have uploaded the payload. Let's wait for any incoming connections. So this is the shell. If we click on shell, you see now we have received the connection. Now the next step is to escalate your privileges. Before escalating your privileges, we're going to need to identify who we are. So if you type who am I, you see are the net authority system, which means you are the highest, the highest uh, authoritative user on the system. So nothing else is required under the challenge. We're just going to grab the flag. They are so this is the flag cat or cd flags so what's that for the price of one the text two for the price oh my god what's this file okay cat for i'm going to need to use parentheses here for the price of one the text cat oh yeah type doesn't work on uh, windows the system cannot find the file as it we need to append the two i guess right okay So we got the user flag and the root flag. Okay, let's see here. So we go to this submit. I don't know guys, it's very easy. I'm gonna rate it as one piece of cake, exactly. Now we're gonna need to find this is the user the text. Now finally the root flag submit one more time and now we own the user the root okay rate matrix real life applicable five okay so this is it guys i hope you enjoyed this and i guess i know you find it easy but we want to complete the track for all the people beginner to advanced thank you very much